Oh, no. Nope. That one's not going to be good. That was a hard hit. Oh, that was definitely a hard hit. Flung all our doors open. Hello everybody, I'm Ivor Abbott. We are on the top of BeamNG Mountain again because of this. This right here. So we're going to be using the look ahead feature and going first person down this mountain. But since we wrecked the tofu car last time, we kind of have a missile delivery car for today. So this is probably one of the best drifting mods that um, I know of. If you guys know more, let me know down below, please. I'd appreciate it. So we're going to go full send with this. But before we do that, we have to make sure, show you guys where we have the mod installed, the look ahead interior camera, and then you would go into UI apps and add UI, and it is down in here, the look ahead UI app. And then once you add it to the screen, I have the control settings up here. And this is the adjustments and stuff for sensitivity and things on the wheel. So we're gonna go full send. see what we can do you can already see it's pivoting around so this is gonna make this much nicer oh we got it we're definitely getting the tofu delivered a lot quicker in this car oh the wheel chatter oh, the wheel chatter knocking my mouse off my rig this wheel gets some wheel chatter when I'm at full lock in this car I think it has something to do with the way the suspension in the car is set up but we're killing it that you oh the drift ahead is much nicer but yeah this thing is, oh um well this is not gonna help our fender uh, or our or our rear bumper um but i think i think we're okay so we're gonna go full send because i think we are okay nope something's rattling oh the wheel's definitely bent the front wheel's definitely broke and i just broke it more oh i am really struggling with the vibration from that front wheel oh locked it up do I not have steering? Oh, I think I might have... Something might be really broke now. Oh, yeah. That wheel's... Oh, yeah. That wheel's definitely uh, not happy. <laughs> well, I think it's time to get a fresh car. Continue our tofu delivery. In the drift car. We're definitely getting, I feel the better of this road in this car. And this view is actually quite nice. We could probably adjust it way more to look more. But I actually like how the basic settings are. It's quite intuitive to where I'm trying to look. Oh my, and when you go full lock, it changes a lot more. Oh no, nope. That one's not gonna be good. That was a hard hit. Oh, that was definitely a hard hit. Flung all our doors open. Definitely caved in the rear may have broken something in the front definitely broke something so if you guys like this and you guys want to keep seeing more here on BeamNG uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this this camera is actually quite nice did I just already I already bent my front wheel I feel we're gonna bend it again. Oh, oh.
Well, I mean, we're not doing jump drift into a wall, understeer, definitely bent something there. Can't feel it. Yep. Definitely broke something. Definitely. Oh, geez. We got headlights. Oh, my. Uh, that wheel's not supposed to go that way. Uh, yep, definitely broke something on that. So um, I'm going to find my mouse now because it kind of kind of said I'm going to head out uh, down here. All right, we got it. Well, this cam is actually quite nice. We're going to go change tracks to a different track to get a full effect because you guys know this track from obviously a set of Corsa. So we do have, you know, Lime Rock, which a lot of people drive in a set of Corsa. So we're going to spawn into Lime Rock. So I'll catch you guys when we spawn in there. And we're going to see how the cam looks in that because we managed to get the tofu down without too much problem. We're going to bring out the full livery Boyd drift car, this one. So we're going to go with, so that's a normal cam, then we got roof, now we got to look ahead. It'll be a second gear ripper course. It is very similar to what I'd be seeing in a set of Corsa with my neck effect settings. So that is, oh, what? Uh, <laughs> I'd say that's quite nice until you go off into the grass. I feel like I need to make a server with this course because the, the feels of being in here, bashing doors in multiplayer would be awesome. And the wheel chatter and everything is uh, very crazy because I think we did bend something when we hopped the curb. But I mean, we're killing this lime rock right now. Very similar to how I'd be killing it in a setto on this track. First person, definitely so much cooler with that effect because so it is you can see it's looking and then if you were to go to say the basic driver cam not as cool nope definitely not so we're gonna adjust say we're gonna bump the sensitivity up to 15 oh geez Okay. See, I just don't like how when it's like the lock, it does that. I wonder if we can pull up the smoothness or the linearity. What if we did linearity all the way up? That kind of helps a lot, actually. Oh, that wheel chatter! Ugh. So, look ahead, definitely an amazing feature here in VMNG, and it makes drifting that much nicer, that chatter, you can see it in my wheel. It's just this mod that does that. It, I believe it's only this mod that does that for me, so if you guys have any other great mods for drifting, let me know down in the comment section, apparently I just decided to uh, eat my game. Um, game? Game come back? Oh, okay. What did I just... Apparently I just said bye-bye to my game? Okay, weird. I was trying to change some stuff around, and I, uh, eated my game. Yep, I did. <laughs> Let's get to it for this episode here on this BMNG. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments about the look ahead. And as always, I think you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.